Jupiter, the largest planet. In the previous video, we have learned about Mars, the red planet. If you haven't seen that video, goes and watch, link in the description. Today we are going to learn about Jupiter, the largest planet of our solar system. So, let's start. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Scientists call Jupiter a failed star. You know why? Like the Sun, Jupiter is mostly composed of hydrogen, and, helium. But he does not have enough mass, to trigger a fusion reaction. If you can combine dozens of Jupiter simultaneously, you may have a chance to create a new star. But, this is not possible right now. If Jupiter had become more massive, it would have become smaller. The extra mass will actually make the planet more dense, due to which, it will start pulling on its own. Jupiter took shape when the rest of the solar system formed about 4.5 billion years ago, when gravity pulled the rotating gases, and dust, to become this gas giant. Jupiter is the fifth planet from our Sun, and, it is more than twice as massive as all the other planets combined. With a radius of 43,440.7 miles, Jupiter is nearly 11 times the size of Earth, and 317 times its mass. 11 Earths can fit across the equator of Jupiter. If Earth were the size of a grape, Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. Being the biggest planet, Jupiter gets its name from the king of the ancient Roman gods, and, god of the sky. The Greek equivalent is Zeus, god of thunder. From an average distance of 484 million miles, Jupiter is 5.2 astronomical units away from the Sun. On average, a little more than five times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. From this distance, it takes sunlight 43 minutes to travel from the Sun to Jupiter. Despite its size, Jupiter has the shortest day in the solar system. With a rotational velocity of 28,148 miles per hour, the planet takes only 10 hours to complete a full rotation on its axis. This means, one day on Jupiter is 10 hours long. And because it is spinning so fast, the planet is slightly flattened at the poles, and slightly bulging at its equator. Rotating so fast on its axis, helps generate Jupiter's powerful magnetic field and contributes to the dangerous radiation around it. Jupiter has a very strong magnetic field. This is around 14 times stronger than the magnetic field found on Earth, the largest of any planet in the solar system. Jupiter makes a complete orbit around the Sun, in about 4,333 Earth days. That means, Jupiter's year is about 4,333 Earth days in length. That's about 12 times the length of one Earth year. Jupiter's axial tilt of 3.17 degrees with respect to its orbital path around the Sun is extremely small, second lowest in the solar system behind the Mercury. This means Jupiter spins nearly upright, and does not have seasons as extreme as other planets do. Jupiter contains the largest ocean in the solar system, an ocean of liquid hydrogen. When people think of the ring system, Saturn naturally comes into focus. But in truth, all four gas planets in our solar system have ring systems. Jupiter's rings are lesser known than Saturn's. This ring is very faint to see very well, and is mostly comprised of dust particles, from some of Jupiter's moons, during impacts from comets, and asteroids. In 1979 the Voyager mission discovered Jupiter's faint ring system. The rings are somewhere between 2,000 to 12,500 kilometers thick. Jupiter is a gas giant and doesn't have a solid surface, but it may have a solid inner core about the size of Earth. Jupiter is believed to comprise three regions. The first is, a rocky core, composed of various elements with a mass between 12 to 45 times that of the entire Earth. This core is surrounded by another field which is a layer of electrically conductive liquid hydrogen. This layer contains most of the mass of the planet, due to which, Jupiter has such a strong magnetic field. 
The third area consists of simple hydrogen, with a trace of helium, which transitions into the planet's atmosphere. The Great Red Spot on Jupiter, is one of its most familiar features. Jupiter has a gigantic storm, that's about twice the size of the Earth, called, the Great Red Spot, which has been going for hundreds of years. The red spot spins anti-clockwise, and takes six Earth days to rotate completely. Jupiter has a very unique cloud layers. The gas planet is likely to have three distinct cloud layers in the sky, which together span 44 miles or 71 kilometers. The top cloud is possibly composed of ammonia ice, while the middle layer is composed of ammonium hydrosulfide crystals. The innermost layer may be composed of water, ice, and vapor. Nine spacecraft have visited Jupiter. Here is the list of all the spacecraft visited Jupiter. Jupiter was first visited by NASA's Pioneer 10 spacecraft, in 1973. And then Pioneer 11, in 1974. Then came the Voyager 1, and Voyager 2, in 1979. This was followed by a long break until Ulysses arrived, in 1992. Followed by the Galileo space probe, in 1995. Then Cassini, made a flyby in 2000. Then New Horizons, in 2007. NASA's Juno orbiter, the most recent arrived at Jupiter, in 2016. Jupiter is surrounded by dozens of moon. Jupiter has a 67 confirmed and named satellites. However, it is estimated that the planet has over 200 natural satellites, orbiting it. Include the four large moons, which are collectively called, the Galilean moons. That were first discovered by Galileo Galilei in 1610. These are, in order of distance from Jupiter, Lo, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. The largest of Jupiter's moons, Ganymede, is the largest moon in the solar system. It is larger than the planet Mercury, with a diameter of around 5,268 kilometers. While planet Jupiter is an unlikely place for living things to take hold, the same is not true of some of its many moons. Europa is one of the places most likely to find life elsewhere in our solar system. Just below its icy crust, is evidence of a vast ocean, where life could possibly be supported. The temperature in the clouds of Jupiter is about minus 145 degrees Celsius. The temperature near the planet's center is much, much hotter. The core temperature may be about 24,000 degrees Celsius, that's hotter than the surface of the Sun. Jupiter is the fourth brightest object in the solar system. Only the Sun, Moon, and Venus are brighter than the Jupiter. It is one of five planets visible to the naked eye from Earth. Now it's time to wrap up what we have learned in this video. Thanks for watching. In the next video we will learn about Saturn. Till then take care and keep watching. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel for more. Thank you.